Been together for some time, yeah I always thought you'd be mine, yeah I can see something ain't right, yeah I can see it in your eyes, yeah Like one of the things I, will, I, I always do is I'm, I'm very consistent with what I'm doing. So I've been making music since I decided that 10 years and along the way like there's been ups and downs. Like I did gigs when I was younger, when I was about 16, 17 like, and people came and took the stage down while I was performing and stuff because they didn't like it and things like that. Um, all sorts of stuff like that. I used to get too drunk and too off my face and not be able to record and stuff. And that was uh, that was kind of a peak time. But I've always consistently kept making the music. And I think like the more I've done it, the more the more the years have added on to each other. The more people I've met, the more like in touch I've become with the scene. And I've, I've almost ended up like starting my own scene, <laughs> like in a way. It's, it's been a, it's not been the easiest journey, and it still isn't the easiest journey. But I can definitely feel that we're getting somewhere with it. Right to be I'm just trying to glide on the rise. I'm a G, yeah. trying to get my money up. I'm a double tap. Early hours hit that pussy up. See all these dope man making moves. They just funny ones. I ain't got a plan. Right now I'm a bust it up. I'm gassed to be a part of this new wave of Derby artists. Like. B Turn, Hive TV, LR, Cubs, Sharks, like all of all of my man them. We, we've all just came out from somewhere and we're all making moves and that's that's what Derby lacked back in the day. And that's why people said there's nothing that ever happens in Derby. Because it at a point nothing ever happened. No one was putting on shows, no one was doing nothing and it, it got a bit grating after a while. And when you sit there and like you're seeing all these talented people in Derby and you're like, yo, why have we all not like made a big movement yet? But like big up to people like I'm just Darbs and like Darbs on the map and play, things like that, like made movements for man. Too hard for TV, you know what I mean? Show one love to them brothers. Glowy, wavy, oceans, wavy, oceans. Niggas hate cause I'm chosen. Moving and eat like Trojan. Let, let, let it go, but I ain't frozen. Too cold with it, I'm frozen. Kids say, kids say, dubsy, gozy. Deals everywhere, get shosy. Bow, bow, bubbles. Bubbles. Blow it, blow it. Hot up, toasty. One of the main things that I've noticed is that there's a lot of different groups and loads, loads of different cliques which are doing such amazing things on their own. Um, however, I think I would love in the future to start to see those little groups come together and then create something even bigger because the connections is what's going to basically turn this from being a little small tight-knit group of people here and there doing great things and we're all hearing about it and obviously things are happening so that's obviously good the first thing is to just create that momentum and if once we've established that now let's take that momentum and uplift it and give it a stage give it a platform so then we can involve more people and make a bit more you know we get louder make a bit more noise um around the east midlands or even the country if my niggas on the way you know can no skip pay you know stay true always you know all day every day you know you Since I was about, say I'd say since I was like 14, 14 I um, was interested in rapping and on the garage film I used to MC. Um, I liked the production, so I got into like using Fruity Loops. I downloaded it off a bit torrent like years ago. You know what I'm saying? And from there I just carried on and just basically made more music that way. I learned, I, pro I progressed and got taught into how to use the, the program a lot better. Um, started to make beats and MC at the same time and just started to just, you know, enhance the talent and enhance the craft, innit? I begin to sit in my hometown, trying to make it bigger than the rose now. I was young then, but I'm grown now. Cause they really want to see me on a low down, but I'm going to show you when I roll around. Now I don't play, I make no sound. With the music scene, as Kiss said, a lot of people are hungry. You know what I mean? There's a lot of talent out there, but I just think this isn't the place where they're going to thrive. And that's the problem with the Derby scene. A lot of people are expecting a lot from it, and they're not going to get it because no venues really want it. You know what I mean? So if you're in a city that doesn't support what you're doing, you're not going to thrive like that. So you've got to go to other places, and that's what's kind of sad about it. But, you know, we're, we're on the right path, because you know what I mean? Me and kids are putting work, trying to make sure people get showcased. 
and other people are seeing them and now a lot of people are moving so you know it's, it's not all bad it's just as a scene together it's not it's not like London or Nottingham or any of these places that are really pushing their artists I'm so Derby A38 to Brum Re-up on the Charlie, I gotta get it gone I ain't seen my city since I hit the M1 I've been gone a minute, gotta go back to check mum I'm so Derby, Simfin, Sin City uh, I used to do record loads of music and I was like, so now how do I get this music onto a stage? And I remember my very first ever kind of person put me on was a Mensa on the Diablo Nights in, uh, at the Herodog. And that was pretty sick. So obviously me watching that going, he's not going to host those shows all the time. I want to be on stage all the time, so what can I do? So I decided to host little small events, which then built up and we found a venue that um, obviously could accommodate a lot of the things that we wanted. Um, and yeah, Bunk obviously, um, we, had, we obviously now work with them where we have a fed there. And it's basically just a small little platform where we can get any musician from anywhere, um, at whatever stage they're at, either they just fresh off the boat, like just stepped out of the studio, or they, uh, or they don't know what they're really doing, but then they have the passion for the music. It's kind of like free for all, do your thing. It's a platform for you to learn, um, show what you've be, basically been working in the studio, and obviously, good night with your friends and get drunk and have some chicken wings kind of thing. But the main aspect of it is, it's a small platform, so any musician, any stage can come in and vibe with everyone. And I think that's what makes it beautiful. There's no kind of like any sense of you're better than who or I'm better than this guy or whatever. It's just pure good vibes. Pure good vibes, good music. Boy, not a done. All this weed that I be rolling up, I be smoking on. Gothic guy, oh, I'm a gothic done. Yeah, my swaggy looking baddie niggas know that I'm a one. Windy on my head, bing bong, oh my gosh, she got back, I'm a chop, ching chong, I got white, green and brown, bando looking like Peter Pan. In Derby, we have a lot of small opportunities like to do your thing, like we got them gigs, the open mics and stuff like that, but there's nowhere to get to that next level, like to progress, so say you're here on this stage, in Derby there's not really that many chances to go this next level and that's where you have to go out for them opportunities obviously you can still network with people in that through social media but it's not the same as me being with someone in front of them like face to face and then we can do we can just speak and you can tell by that body language and the vibe you earn whereas over the net you can't really do that because it's the only perception that people portray it might not really be them and you don't know until you met them in real life what they're feeling, if they really rate your music, of course, it's a genuine thing. Fuck up sets everywhere that I go, DJs reload everywhere that I go. Dogs on the map everywhere that I go, I wreck my city everywhere that I go. Fuck up sets everywhere that I go, DJs reload everywhere that I go. Dogs on the map everywhere that I go, I wreck my city everywhere that I go. There's been a lot of times where it's like, oh, I don't want to do this no more. I don't want to, <laughs> why am I doing this? <laughs> no, that was the main one, like, why am I doing this? Because I've got nothing, I've got no money, I'm still like, whatever, but it's the passion, really, that I, I do it. And I couldn't really describe it in one word, but I could just, it is everything that I am, it makes me, really. She wanna play me like a flute, this crazy baby kinda cute. Hit that lady by the booth, could I make him a lady? I refuse, I'm confused, never ever happen. It's mad how much the Derby scene has actually come together to make bits. Even if you ain't a musician, you're a producer, like that everyone's getting involved, like Ted Loco, Prince Baza, like all the local geezers lot, Mid Yawn. Everyone's getting involved with everyone and it's such a pleasure to see. Especially some of us who have been in the game for ten years and plus more. <laughs> We didn't really see much like teamwork or people actually wanting to work with each other. Maybe we did, maybe we didn't. But at that time and point in our lives, I feel like we were all just focusing on ourselves because we didn't feel like Derby wanted to do what we wanted to do. But now, <laughs> further down the line, we're all working together. We all know each other. We all, we're all a tight family. And at the end of the day, Derby's coming to take that crown. 
I don't wanna let you go, I might have to I don't want that bitch if she ain't better than the last two Hitting numb the pain when the rack's blue So let me tell you what I can do Ay, I don't wanna let you go, I might have to I don't want that bitch if she ain't better than the last two Hitting numb the pain when the rack's blue So let me tell you what I can do Ay, Go I can make you famous Ay, Put on your pride Girl, you be shameless. I met that bitch on a wavy ting. Ayy, that bitch is nameless. BVS ice. Ayy, this shit ain't no stainless. Free niggas out in cages.